Hey guys, it's Joel and I'm settling into my new room. Um, I wanted to do a quick video on what a uh, leech weather prognosticator is and a Fitzroy storm glass because I'm doing a series on different things that are in my room because a lot of people have looked around and been like, hey, what's that? That looks weird. I want to know what it is. So right here is something called a Fitzroy storm glass. You can see that there's little crystals growing at the bottom of this. And right now, what the crystals are doing as they're forming at the bottom is telling me that it's raining outside, which is really useful because um, I'm all wet and I just walked in from outside where it is raining. Um, so one of the things that uh, happened in the middle of the age of imperialism in the Caribbean is that the British Empire had all these ships that were super expensive and they kept getting wiped out by hurricanes and like a lot of a nation's strength was in a navy at that point. So this is a problem, but the Caribbean is also really valuable. So you need a bunch of ships there to hunt pirates and whatnot. So they had this contest where they said, anybody who can predict the weather, you win all this money and you win all this renown. And so there's two submissions to this contest because it's hard to predict the weather. Um, and one of them, it's called a leech weather prognosticator, which loses, even though it's actually a better device that works better. Um, and the leech weather prognosticator looked insane. Uh, it had like... Uh, 16 tubes in a circle and like all this carving and then there were strings that came from these tubes that had leeches of different sizes in them and they went up and they rang these bells to tell you what the weather was doing because a leech is very responsive to barometric pressure because it kind of matters to a leech if there's going to be like a drought or a rainstorm since they kind of need water to swim around and suck blood in rivers and stuff so the leech will crawl all the way up if it thinks there's going to be some huge flood that's going to get rid of it and um the leeches, as the weather came, they respond to the barometric pressure differently in each size. So like a series of leeches would ring these bells and then you knew what the hurricane was going to be. It actually worked, but the British Empire looked at that and they were like, that's insane, I don't want this. And they went with something that um, Admiral Fitzroy was, or captain, I don't know, I don't know his rank, sorry. Uh, he was the captain of the ship that Darwin was on, which I believe is the Beagle, but I, I don't memory doesn't quite... Uh, as good as it used to be, and uh, he would pour camphor and liquor and something else, some kind of nitrate, something that was poisonous. I don't think that's in mine. If mine breaks, I don't think I'll die. Um, and, like, it would respond to barometric pressure and grow these crystals, so if the crystals kind of come up slowly from the bottom, then you know there's going to be some sort of, like, rain front coming in. If they, like, explode from the top and drift down from the top, then you know it's going to uh, snow, probably. And if there's some sort of like occlusion that grows all the way up like a column, you know there's going to be some kind of big rainstorm, like a tsunami or a hurricane. Um, it doesn't work great. It's actually responding a lot more to temperature than barometry, but it's kind of cool. A lot of people have asked, so that's what it is. The Fitzroy Storm Glass, and I hope you guys enjoyed this, and hopefully I'll see you in therapy one day.